Hmm. Very interesting. Nick has had videos with Kentucky. Prank here, a prank there, a quick mukbang. But they never really sat down and had a conversation with us. Well, Nick, yes, but not Kentucky. So we're gonna go ahead and watch this video because I'm curious to know who this girl is. kind of hard to understand so I, I don't really know how to feel about her yet before we get started with this video called the truth about us Nick uploaded a video before this talking about how deep her depression is and how Kentucky has been there for her through it all we're gonna go ahead and listen to what Kentucky's got to say about the whole thing and who she is as a person and let's just go ahead and observe what's up y'all it's your girl Nick G the host I'm done did I scare you guys I well, I'm here with the uh, Jalen, aka Kentucky, aka. Your real name is Jalen. Yeah, hey, that's the aka. So uh, I told y'all that we were gonna make a video about you know who she is and introduce who she is, you know, because a lot of people got things kind of misconstrued, I guess. Okay. Yeah. And everybody's phone and. Okay, I'm just gonna throw shit. But uh, yeah, yeah. So who are you? So, I want to introduce myself correctly. Uh -huh. Me and Tanika met back in August, right? When y'all seen me on her channel at first, I had just met her literally that day. So, I wasn't really... I believe that the video that they're talking about is that mukbang in the hotel, I think. I'm not sure. Comfortable in those videos. I was nervous. Mm -hmm. um, I knew that firsthand because she, when she would be eating or she'll be on video, she's looking down. She's never looking at the camera, never even looking at Neek. She's just uncomfortable with being on camera and a lot of people are. You, they can't be their true selves in front of the camera because it feels like a show and they're uncomfortable with the situation. Yes. I get it, girl. I get it. Get a true feel of who I really am. You know what I'm saying? Right. And also, I can't. I think that's why I am not too sure about her yet. Is because it's confusing. And back on her channel, doing pranks on her. Um, with that, I want to honestly say, wait a minute, I have a list. I made a list. Okay, okay. girl. <laughs> so no, okay. So with that, I want to say, um, that in pranks, you're like almost acting right it's almost like improv and i'm real good at improv mm, almost it is improv exactly it is improv. like mm -hmm. that isn't like how i act towards her and that's not how she acts towards me it's really like a to get her reaction to get her blood boiling like i said like it was to you know just come on y'all and not like, improv as in fake because people take that in more yeah way. this those pranks were real as hell yeah no like i know I, I can tell those pranks were real and you know why it's because kentucky isn't about this YouTube lifestyle. She doesn't really quite got the hang of it. So I know that when she's pranking Nick, that these are actually real. From, a, I'm saying spectator, because you used to watch instead of you being, yeah. actually doing a prank, right. you used to watch. Right. When people are calling it fake and don't even know this shit. It's real not. Real. Like, it's real. I want to tell y'all, the first, the first thing, like people call my pranks childish. First of all, I don't do this stuff. I'm just doing things off the top of my mind. We were sitting in the car eating Indies. The pet peeve video or whatever we were doing got boring. And me, <laughs> as a, you know, outgoing person, when I get bored, I like to spice things up. Like, I like to change up the vibe. So, I made it a prank. She had no idea what I was going to do. I had no idea. I just wanted to see her reaction. And then, like, with the prank, with being on the phone, like, of course, we have created these feelings for each other. Like, let's be real. But we are friends at the end of the day. And a lot, a lot of y'all had stuff to say about me calling her my friend. That's what she is. Like, really our friends. We are really friends. Not all lesbians move fast, okay? Not all. Most, yes. But not all. And so, yeah, I didn't understand a problem with that. But they're just for entertainment. Like, everybody, she was here, for, she's almost been here for two weeks now. She was here for a solid week and wasn't making videos. So I was just like, okay, you know what? And not because of her. Right. It wasn't because of her. Right. Because people was blaming her for me not making videos. Yeah. It's just always some shit. 
It's just like when the camera came on, I see an opportunity for entertainment. So right. I gave her content. Like she was thank you. wanting. You're welcome. Thank you. I just say thank you. Like, <laughs> damn, for real. Uh, it was good content too. So mean. I feel like that's where, where y'all go wrong. Y'all don't have to be so mean. So I have never read the comments. I don't go on people's channels to read other people commenting. I don't do that. So apparently there's been some negative comments about these videos. So um, I don't know why. But I do have a list, so okay, girl. I made a list. Speak on it. I just want to touch on a couple of things as far as my point of view. Look at them. <laughs> Neek is really finding her attractive right now, and because she's all she's got a list, she's all organized and prioritizing. Neek finds that attractive, and you can tell. And maybe get her point of view too. But like she talks a lot, so y'all need to Oh my her. god. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, like I said, my name is Jalen. Jalen. My name is Jalen, okay? Can we call you um, Kentucky though? I want to tell y'all a little bit about me. <laughs> I do work in the health field, okay? Right. I am a student nurse. I got about two years left. All right, girl. And mm. um, I love everything that I do. I work right now in, mm. in home health care with um, our elders. Probably your elders. I'm just playing, but like that's what, what kind I of do. Patients? Um, dementia. I do Alzheimer's. I do paraplegics. I that's do everything. Up. Like I do a little bit of everything. Now that's what's up. This girl thinks about her future. Okay, not just the present. She's working in the present to get to the future that she wants for herself. And she's making it happen already. She already works with the elderly. And she's trying to become a nurse. And she's handling her business. Shit, let her be. Can I say something? Yeah, say something. So my <laughs> grandmother is, uh, um, she oh, has that's dementia. Right. That's and right. when we first met, she told me that she was a uh, in-school nurse for dementia. And you do what now? I'm not in school for that. But like I worked with long-term care and dementia happens to be the you know right so she does that now right and that drew me to her more than anything That's because up. my grandmother has dementia which is something that is very dear to my heart right. especially this time of my life so that definitely drew me closer and that made us closer because mm -hmm. we had a lot friends. to talk about on That's that tip. right so also about me um with this being said like the clout thing i don't need okay so i want to touch this i want to touch on this before she let me stop it right there, okay? She, she's not for the clout, y'all. She's trying to become a nurse, okay? The nurse alone, you can make lots of money. Obviously, she's not about this, this social media lifestyle, okay? She just happens to know someone that's in it, and she's supporting her in it, and doesn't mind being involved with that whole process. She's her friend. She's trying to become a damn nurse, y'all. Not everybody wants to be a social media famous. She came in my life. I had my own career going. I had my own right. income. I still have my own income. Go ahead, girl. Great, if you ask me, thank the Lord above. Mm -hmm. Tell them. But I'm good. Like, you know what I mean? I'm good. I'm great. I'm not out here leeching or looking for an opportunity. I'm just not. I was good before she came in my life. I yep. just want to say that. You got something to say? And we'll be good after. But right. this is this is my <laughs> thing. I asked her to be on the channel. Yes. I asked her to do... They even talked about that. Kentucky never wanted to be on camera. A video. She told me no. Yeah. Don't y'all remember told that? Me no, for this reason. Because I didn't want, and also not only because of that, but because I have my own ideas that I wanted to create social media wise. I love taking pictures. I love like you know. I just I have a lot to say. Um, I just you know I have my own ideas. I have my own mind, and I wanted to branch off on different platforms, of course. Um, and she said she don't want to look like I, I gave her anything. Yeah, I don't. And now I see why yes. she didn't want to do it. And I she wanted to grow on her own. She didn't want to leech off anybody. And even as much as hard work you put into your channel, people tend to give that credit off to the person you started off with. And that's sad. I almost wish we didn't do it, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But I mean, yeah. this this like, this ain't gonna stop nobody. These right. videos are not getting 700,000 views, right. you know what I'm saying? So this ain't gonna stop nothing that you want to do in the future, right. you know what I'm saying? But I, lesson learned. And I also want to say, with my stuff that you all are gonna see, so I different. invest in it. I put the money into it. I put the time into it. I'm gonna be doing it myself. So, I, I barely 
promoted her, her Instagram for that reason as well. Right. She has not asked me to promote her Instagram. No. And I was going to put it on, on the videos and I only did it on like one because I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to... I don't want us to go through this, this back and forth. But y'all, it's okay to do it though. Why not help each other out? Why not help each other grow? That's okay. Who can't, who gives a fuck what people gotta say? They're always gonna think that they that she's with you or hanging out with you for the clout. Regardless, either you do or you don't type shit. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna hate you regardless. So just take advantage of the situation. And I'm saying that in a good way. Help each other grow. If, if Nick's got a platform and she's your friend, she wants you to succeed. And it's okay to get that help. There's nothing wrong with that. From that alone, I can tell that she's misindependent and she don't want nobody's help. But girl, it's okay to get a little bit of help. Trust me. About your people saying that, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you made me and all of this, cause that ain't the case. This, this girl is doing very good in her life. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And don't need me Aww. at all. And she also just sees a lot of potential in me. So she, when she has like a, a platform that she says, she tells me that it's like, I have people that will support you. And she just wants to share that. And there's nothing wrong. What happened to people just supporting right. their clients or just helping one another? Like there's right. nothing wrong with that. Nothing no, wrong with it at no, all. Y'all learn the words. When I say toxic, clown, oh my God. unbothered, and y'all ain't oh shut up God. since. Like, everybody just use those words so freely. Especially like, toxic. Yeah. And that's nice. Okay. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, with this whole toxic thing, I don't know if y'all think this woman being on me. I don't know. I don't know what y'all think. I'm not going to lie to you. I did think she was going to be a bad, not necessarily bad, but not a good person to be around you and the reason why i said that because that's what you guys show that's what you guys show in the videos neek is an emotional sensitive person and i can see that in her because i'm like i'm like that i'm that way and if someone's gonna talk to me aggressively and strongly and um give me their negative opinion about me in a harsh way that's just gonna hurt me in the long run, okay? That's not gonna better me at all. It's gonna make it worse. I'm not going to listen. So the people that I need around me that's positive will tell me the honest truth, but not be so blunt and harsh. Because if they talk to me calmly and let me know what I'm doing wrong and what I can do better, then I'll be more willing to listen. So in the videos, I noticed that Kentucky's pretty tough, man. And she's bluntly honest with her and to the point where she can say some hurtful things, like, and pretty much shut Neek down. That could just be for the video. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that really isn't her. Maybe it's just more for the entertaining purpose. And maybe she really low-key is a good person for Neek. We don't know that. We don't live with them. But I don't know. Like, nothing is toxic with us. We've had back and forth because of what's going on in my life and with right. her trying to help me. So I'm not about to act like we haven't had a couple of arguments, but my Nick. It, there's no relationship, honestly. To be toxic. Yeah, like, whatever y'all situation ship is toxic already, Neek, run. Like, come on, y'all. Yeah, I was like, really? Like, and I really feel like they saying that because of that one prank. That guy prank. And then y'all, like, this is... It's not that too, girl. It's the fact that you don't really look at her that much. And, and you don't... Mm. There's, a, there's a lot of points that I can, I can prove throughout the videos that you guys had together. But then again, I don't know what about it is genuine and what about it is not. And Neek is always gonna say that you're a good person for her and to be around her is because she's infatuated by you. She really likes you a lot. And she's, it seems like she's that type of person that regardless, she's gonna ignore the signs. She's gonna ignore the negative signs because she likes you. But I don't know, I don't know. Like I'm still trying to get to know the girl through these videos and I'm trying to figure her out so much like toxic though that don't, stop using that word so freely please you, like go stop please please <laughs> toxic though like i'm not if anything i feel like and i know she feels like i am a great figure in her life right now oh. y'all don't even know y'all don't even know the half of the stuff that you know we conquer and go through with her growth every day mine too and the reason why I'm so not sure about her yet in a negative aspect is because I do remember her saying that she works in the health field. If you work in the health field and you work with the elderly, okay, 
and you're and you're in school to become a nurse obviously you have a caring heart obviously you care for others so obviously there's something positive about you you're there to to help people and it seems like you're in her life and Nick's life during her depression so obviously there's some positive things about you but y'all it's what you guys show in the video stop showing that shit if it really ain't like that Facts. Too. hers too and i know it sounds because it's gonna sound like to them it's like you 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 just going through this you just going through that but it's me too yeah but right now in my life i definitely am going through some shit right you know what i'm saying i just overcame some shit and now you know what i'm saying you you know y'all know the series of events that's going on i've been i've been showing y'all most of everything so so okay next we i have on and off camera is on my next bullet point and with that i just want to say like there's things that go on off camera that aren't necessarily shown and i get it kind of now when she explains it that youtubers don't always put the bad things or the the you know the truth the truth the i do bliss uncensored subscribe the brutal truth on camera and at first i was saying like you being fried like you being fake because i don't like that like you you on camera and then the camera go off and you you act I'm a whole sad. different way <laughs> like i was i was calling her out on that but like now i understand like with this entertainment with these platforms that you have people that look up to you you have people that look at you a certain way and that's why she made that video yesterday nick versus royalty because that's kind of what it is that's the thing. It's entertainment, y'all. Like, even though I'm I'm as honest as I can be, obviously I have videos out there about my depression that I'm going through. And I've even said a couple times, if you guys follow me, that I was pretty close to like having, su I'm having suicidal thoughts and so on and so forth. I'm getting better, by the way. I really am. Don't necessarily have that anymore. But I can be as honest as I can be, but am I going to tell you every little detail? No, because that's my own personal life that I'm dealing with. This is real life, y'all, and I'm not about to put it out there like that. There's a lot of things that I deal with with my family that is it's not so great, which actually kind of kills me every fucking day. And then, you know, so on and so forth. Like, th there's just so much that's put into it. But when you're on camera, nope, not that many people want to hear negative shit all the time. When someone's trying to have a good day, why would they watch your video being so negative all the fucking time? They don't want to see that shit. They don't. They want to be, they want to laugh. They want to smile. They want something to look forward to. And that's what, this is why it's called Bliss Uncensored. It's, it's my performer name, Bliss. My real name is Carol. But she said she's going to work on that and start being more transparent with you guys. And she, I feel like you should be. It's okay to show both, okay? That, and that's why I have my depression videos. Yeah. Um, so, <coughs> we had a discussion. Just not too much of one or the other. On her pretty much calling me a fraud because she seen something on camera that I was. And then when I got to her, well, this time. Because the first time was cool. But this time, I got to her, it was kind of out of whack. And it's because, like, you know, you go through shit, but that ain't for you to put on camera. But I'm going to start putting it on camera. Because the thing is, people judge you regardless, though. Right. That's they what I said. You do or you don't. Even when I put up something good, I'm being judged. S something bad. That's I'm what I'm saying, judged. girl. It's like, either way, I don't care if I make $100,000 or have $1. Mm. Somebody going to have something to say. Mm -hmm. Always. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I might as well share. And it's good for therapeutic reasons, too. I'm actually going to be doing um, a couple clips of basically called therapy sessions where I'm actually going to be open with a lot of the things in my life that has gotten me to this point and I'm going to talk on camera about it. It's always going to be me and the camera and I am going to vent and let things out so it, so my mental can be healthy. I don't have to post it. I realize that. I know that I don't. But I could also be helping other people that are going through the same thing. So why would I, why would I just help myself and be selfish in that way if I can help other people watch it? You know what I'm saying? I have a purpose I'm and that might be it. Y'all are more active anyway. Yeah. So. I've noticed that too. Thank you. So <laughs> then I have entertainment in all caps. And that's really what that like the videos I've been in was for entertainment. The from the first video, the mukbang where she pranked me and said, "Let's get married." Entertainment. Come on now, I know she wasn't serious. I wanna. I did, it wasn't fake, but I just you know I just joked the back with her because like come on now, it's for entertainment. I'm that's not it. gonna ruin and the, the camera's on. Right. <laughs> like I'm not gonna like. Oh my gosh, it's just 
you don't really know until you behind the camera, really. Or in front of the camera. That's what I was trying to tell her. And, <laughs> I'm sorry. And that's okay. You want to go ahead? I, th I just want to say, first of all, I love those lights. Everybody, um, everybody want to pass judgment on what goes on behind these cameras, but a lot of y'all out there could not be behind this camera. Yeah. You could not be in this position. You mean in front of the camera, girl, mm -hmm. you mean? And I didn't understand it until, like, sitting here with her. Like, I thought it was just a simple on, off, no. No. Uh, There's an audience back there. Although we're sure. looking at a camera. You was watching this on your TV. Right. I've had negative comments by some people who really go out of their way to try to hurt you in, in, in some weird way. It's, it's very odd. Like, you can tell this person really wants to get under your skin. For, just for no apparent reason. They just want the attention. And the second that I do respond, and of course in a nice professional way, they got what they wanted. They got a response, but they didn't think that I was going to react in that way. In a, in a nice manner and usually the conversation doesn't go anywhere you know what i'm saying and you and a million other people can watch this exact same video Thanks. so i just want to say that like with those videos if i offended anybody if i made myself look bad if that's what i did i apologize because don't apologize just, for right? nobody like girl i really feel like it's that one with the guy i really do that's the one that had the most backlash on it and she didn't want to post that didn't. She Why? didn't want to post it, but I said, girl, post it. Like, it was a prank. We both know when the camera went off, we was good. Right. We, we was laughing, eating our Chick-fil-A, looking at the video. Like, it was we was good. And that eyelash was off. And she didn't want to post it because she hit her in the face by accident. Eyelash was off. <laughs> I took the other one off, too. So, it was good. It was a good yeah, video. Okay. So then I have be, being honest. Um, that just goes back into, like, you know, being true with yourself. Being honest on and off camera as a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. So... That's just it. Just, yeah. Um, okay, so then I have status quo. Like, where do we stand? We are friends. 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 Well, you say it so they don't think that I'm friends. only saying it. Friends. We are friends and friends again. So on this tab right here, on this chapter of this video, I just want to say that I feel like, and we've had this conversation, of course, before me saying it on camera, but she more so like, what did you say the other day about like you all you, like when you blood down your wall you um kind of like went like yeah, i was i was overbearing i mean if you want to get into all of that we can okay i mean it's your video you wanna get into <laughs> i don't i mean i just want you to tell them what you told me like when you said when you let your wall down you just started going like rah, 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 fast. so okay when i when i let my it was a series of things going on around this time However, when I do let my wall down, um, sometimes I can be a bit rushy and overbearing. Okay. What does that mean? Explain and I was being better. rushy and overbearing. Explain and I, it's it. Really, I like, don't I understand. I have a problem with her, like, call, like, cause on and off camera, I call her baby too. I call her baby too. So like, I don't, but I necessarily like say it online. I don't be online like, babe, babe, baby, or like how she be on live and stuff. And honestly, I'm not in a position, I don't have this huge following to where anyone would even notice if I do stuff like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So of course when she do something, I'll take it real, real literal. Like, oh, she just called her her baby. Oh, she just looked at her. Look how she looked, like stuff like that. And it don't be that serious. Like behind, we're still getting to know each other. And I feel like me coming on her camera and stuff, it kind of just messed up a little bit. Yeah. Now I feel like we had, y'all. Yeah, because uh, let me explain why. The second you put another person on your channel that's what they're gonna automatically automatically assume and you guys can't blame the audience you just can't that's YouTube you should know you should know this by now Nick come on now that's just how it is so if you guys are friends for all these months which is awesome I think it's best to take it slow create that foundation first you know what I'm saying and if it's something to the point where you guys want to make it serious then come on camera about it you know what I'm saying but maybe you should have just introduced her in the video as friends like straight up friends because that's what you are but you kept you guys kept doing these pranks about um the will you marry me prank and then the fucking the the flirting in front of the camera the all that shit like trying to get her jealous by you know facetiming another guy it's like you guys are doing it to yourselves don't do that do pranks and do do, do mukbangs as friends like literally as friends then people wouldn't have taken it that way y'all have these expectations or looking at me some type of way um and what's bad is i don't mean to cut you off that's okay. but when 
you know, I have to leave Kentucky. In I don't days. have to leave because I will stay. <laughs> but I, uh, I'm leaving Kentucky in a couple of days. And if I decide to throw somebody else on this camera. Great. Like, and my thing is before, like, she's been having other people on her channel. Not so much right. lately, but she's had other girls on her channel too. Right. But like I said, you fine. <laughs> and, and, and I'm not saying it was ugly because I've had... Yeah. Damn, y'all. I don't know how you can do that, though. When you have feelings for somebody, which obviously you both do. You admitted it on camera. How, how are you guys able to just sit there and watch the other person go on camera with another woman? Like, even though y'all are just friends and still getting to know each other, it's like, damn, you're getting to know them, too? Like, maybe, like, I know we're not together, but can we just be... Um, can it just be me in the meantime while we figure our own shit out? You know what I mean? I don't know. I can't do what y'all do. Women. But, like, um, just, but this went too far. That, this went too far for them. I don't know, to be honest. I don't know. Maybe because you have people like me that just don't understand the situation like that. Me and Mercy was Wouldn't be able like to. Hell, and Mercy is beautiful. And uh, none of this happened. None of this. Nobody said anything with me and Mercy. She fed me food and all kind of shit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Because we can probably see the feelings that you guys have for each other. And you can tell this one's more genuine. No, oh, but anyways, they met, like, they, their whole video was talking about, like, how they met, and they met, like, on a, you know, sexual like term. Sexual time. But I understand, like, I, I read her comments, because once again, I was once upon a time watching her on my TV, on my phone. And, like, I'm still kind of on the outside looking in. I still have, you know, that, I don't know. So anyways, next, because that's just that. We're friends. Yeah. We're getting to know each other. On my phone. And, like, I'm still kind of on the outside looking in. I still have, you know, that, I don't know. So anyways, next, because that's just that. We're friends. Yeah. We're getting to know each other. And I'm not going anywhere. Like, that's, I don't know. It, it's just. So she's not going nowhere. Yeah, at all. Like we are. I don't care. Like I. So Nick, I hope you're okay with her talking to other females too, cause you, you know, feeding each other with the with the other female, whatever, feeding her food, whatever the fuck y'all did. I hope you're okay with her doing the same thing because you guys have no attachment other than being friends, right? I really, she holds a very uh, special part in my life. And I'm pretty sure she could say the same thing for me. But like, we both just been there for each other. And right now in this very moment, y'all looking at her and like seeing you, she really just needs someone solid to be there and just let her know that everything is True. gonna be okay. True. Like, that's just, that's it. That shit real. That's it. So it don't even have to be on no relationship, no sexual terms. That's true because she's had temporary people in her life, such as her mother, okay? Wasn't really there for her. Um, her ex that she was with for so many years. I mean, they're not no longer together. And I think her friend, and you know who I'm talking about, her best friend, I don't know what happened between the two, but they're obviously not talking right now. So these are all temporary people. So yeah, she needs some stability. Especially when she moves from place to place to place. Like, there's no place where she can call home, neither. So she needs some form of stability. And if you have someone like Kentucky who's got her shit together, who's got her screws tightened, then yeah, she's someone that will be positive around you. Okay? Like, I'm literally just trying to be there. That's yeah. it. Like, don't turn it into something that it's not. You ain't trying. You been there. Right. She been there. Like, y'all don't understand. Like, it's been a lot. For real. And I seen a comment that was just like, all this process or through this process it's only been like four months baby every day let me tell you every something. day you though through something for four you be in a dark place for four months that's uh, a long time to be stuck in try three years okay i've been depressed for three years there's been days where I, I wake up happy and in a good mood but then man when that when the sad days hit it hits hard so five four or five months whatever they're talking about i'm sure it was tough one place hold on you was already going you was already in a dark place why am i being so passionate along with them i don't know i'm an empath so i tend to feel other people's feelings uh in, in the first place and then you meet somebody in that dark place and then you get to know this person for four months and that's that was the thing i did not want to communicate with you because i didn't want you to see this side mm -hmm. of me i wanted to hide this side and i hide it from everybody else I could go in my corner, I could cry, I could do what I need to do, and nobody will know. Girl, no. You suck at hiding it. 
when you are in your relationship and i'm not blaming it on the relationship at all trust me i'm not it's it's your own mental you get what i'm saying throughout the videos while you were doing your reacting your reactions little by little your your reactions to the videos was like getting boring as fuck and when I, when I say boring it's like you were not in it like your mind was not there you were not there you were not present and that's how i knew you were depressed you've been depressed for a while I'm the type, I'll cry a river and then go to a party. And I'm like, hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. you've seen me do that, actually. Right. And she was just, she would not let up on me. No, because what <laughs> happens with that, you guys, what happens with that, with your with your brain, like, you could think, like, okay, that's high-functioning depression. That's where she get that time from, because when I said that, that's you. Yeah. Like, she will literally be having a breakdown and then, like, be fine the next day. And my thing is, with that is... It just builds up. You're not getting over it. You're not dealing with it. Like, with your emotions, you have to go through that stuff. You have to let yourself hurt. Let yourself feel that pain. Let yourself be upset to get through it. You don't just mm -hmm. cope with these, what I call them, inanimate objects. With and that's a fact because all these years, I kept busy. I kept doing a lot of overtime, working literally, uh, not just my regular 80 hours, every two weeks I literally did an extra 20 to 40 hours overtime during the, those pay periods so I kept my myself very busy so I was distracted I didn't have time to even think what I'm going through and then when my wife and I went on our honeymoon we came back I stopped the overtime that's when I fucking crashed that's when my mental fucking exploded and I was going through every emotion that I could ever feel that I've been holding for three years, okay? And I mean, even in the beginning of the year when I was going to therapy, I didn't realize how much I was holding in. Every session that I had for those three months, every session is an hour. From beginning to end, I would be crying the whole fucking time. And I did not know I was holding that much in. That's crazy, y'all. Deal with, deal with your feelings, deal with what you're going through. That's the only way to cope. Liquor, with cigarettes, with, you know, knives, cutting yourself, like, with just, just everything. So, on that tip, that's just that. Okay, so then I have been opinionated. So, what do you think I mean by that? I don't um, know, I mean, people just giving their opinion when it's not needed. Not even that, because, like, on YouTube, of course, people are going to leave comments. Right. But by being opinionated, I just mean, as humans, we are opinionated. Like, we say our opinions uh, probably a million times a day mm -hmm. about things that have nothing to do with us at all. But with this on my list, I just wanted to say, like, sometimes you guys leave really, 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 really mean comments. And with people that aren't stable necessarily, like, they don't bother me, like, in, in an emotional type of way. But it's just crazy to read some comments and really know that someone's behind there and type that out and press in. They take the like, time, girl. It's crazy. When you I that, know. A hate comment or a negative comment. Believe it or not, it makes them feel good to do it. I don't know why. I don't know if they're not fulfilled in their own lives. But they, they, they crave some form of attention. And when they type all that shit down, it makes them feel better for whatever reason. It's like hurt people hurt people. It's crazy. Like, that makes you know better than the comment that you left about me. Yeah, I feel right. like hurt people hurt people. Exactly. Nick, you better stop taking my words. I said that shit first, okay? Give me my credit. You know what I'm saying? I've hurt several people <laughs> off of me being hurt, so I already know what it is. Facts. It's just you know what I'm saying? But it's just like... It's not cool. It's you know not. what I'm saying? There's and nothing wrong with, there's nothing. It doesn't better your life or your situation. So why do it, you know? Wrong with being nice. Right. There's nothing wrong with leaving a, a heart or a <laughs> smiley face or a good video. Like, there's nothing wrong. Or if you don't like it, hit the dislike button and move on. Or don't even do shit. Just stop watching the videos. What's wrong with that? Or constructive criticism. That's it. I'm down, I'm down for constructive criticism. I'm, I'm all for that. If you're doing it in a respectful way, then I'm gonna respectfully take that advice. People can take that, and a lot of people always ask me like, 
Like, why can you why can you give constructive criticism or not take it or some shit like that? I always let it be known that I don't mean any harm with anything that I say. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be rude. I don't want to disrespect anybody. Mm -hmm. That is always in my vocabulary before I say anything, first mm -hmm. of all. So a lot of people be like, I, I, like somebody said, I love unique, but I'm not buying it. Like, sis, I'm not selling you nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this ain't nothing for sale. Hey. You know, so it's just kind of like, I don't care what you're buying. You know what I'm saying? You can believe whatever you want to believe, but sometimes just certain things just... And I feel like y'all look too deep into it. Like, yeah. and, and with with um, some things, just ask questions. Just, put, like, just leave a question. That's good. You don't have to be negative about it, though. You don't have to say mean things. Some of y'all... Like, if you're really trying to get to the nitty-gritty, ask a question instead of assuming something and making a fucking negative comment. Leave. You'll learn something, and then you'll be able to read a person more. Compliments with a little shade. That, that, don't like. I don't understand that. Your hair big as hell, but your outfit nice though. Okay. Like, <laughs> like what's the point? <laughs> right. <laughs> but it's just not cool to be mean. There's just nothing wrong with being nice. Like it's not. It's nothing wrong with being nice, and there's nothing wrong with change like i feel like a lot of you all have been watching her for a while and now here's this new girl on her channel and she's giving off some type of vibes some type of energy through pranks i don't see how you judge somebody through a prank but that's invalid well it's because you had mukbangs too girl you guys had mukbangs and you had that little attitude in the video but like you said it could be just for entertainment purposes but but you can't blame the audience for thinking a certain way it, I don't know. But it's what you're it, presenting it, still. I'm sorry. Not only that. It's okay. But like people talking about, um, like, Nick, what happened to your views and, and things like that. And to be honest, y'all know I was doing reactions. Like, that's what yeah. I was doing. That's, that's how I found her. Right. That's right. what everybody wants to see. And I just got tired of showing everybody else and, and giving everybody right. else this certain validation and not giving myself none and not actually sharing with y'all who I am. Mm -hmm. So I decided to take a loss which is what it was. However, it's turning into something great because now I can show y'all who I really who am. Are, right. And y'all are starting to uh, receive that more. So if that took time, if that took a pay cut, if that took anything for me to do, uh, for, for y'all to see this person, I'm cool with that. You know what I think it is, Neek? I think because your channel is all over the place. It's, it's, start, it's, it's hard to keep the same, it's hard to keep an audience and gain an audience if your channel is all over the place. We don't necessarily know or understand what the hell this channel is about because it's, it's everything, you know what I mean? Bliss Uncensored, yes, it's more of a reaction channel. But when I have my depression videos, it's still Bliss Uncensored. When I'm talking, when I have story time, it's still Bliss Uncensored. Uh, when I do um, uh, subconscious, it's still bliss uncensored. It's all about the mouth, getting rid of the tape and speaking your mind. So my channel makes sense. Girl, you gotta find some type of organization on your channel and please take this as advice. It's not a criticism, it's not criticism whatsoever. Just take it please. Cause then you'll have a stable audience and if not, you'll gain more. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I know a little bit about business. And she still has royal reacts, like that too. True. It's all reactions. If you want to see reaction, and that makes sense. That makes sense. Royal reacts channel. It's all about reactions. That makes sense. I just feel like I don't know. I don't know what I feel like. It's just a lot. It's a lot. Um, then I have be kind and support. Like I just talked about that. But it's not that hard to just simply be supportive or be kind. Like I just really wish that people could feel how words feel you know i don't know if that makes sense but i just wish how like if i said that to you you know i'm big on like looking at stuff from another person's point of view like take a comment you left you all that leave the comments take a comment that you left and read it back but to, to yourself. yourself like that's that don't feel good it don't hurt my feelings i'm, I'm gonna keep <laughs> saying that because i don't want to look like no sense but it ain't hurt mine either <laughs> right but i just i just it's the principle oh, of the comment okay. that's just it like you like why are you reading like they don't make no sense i don't even read them it's I, just it's it's crazy that these are real life people saying these things i know how a comment is about to go in three words <laughs> facts i can read three words scan over facts. the comment and if it ain't what I want it to be, or if it's not anything Stop that's going to help me, Stop I'm reading. Honest, I'm not reading it. Nope. You know what I'm saying? 
I know they hating on me, but I don't read comments. Facts. <laughs> like, I'm not no. even real. Like, some things I read and a lot, I just don't. A lot of people always say, I read all your comments, bro. That's what's up. Cause so, I, can't I just want to say that there are some comments that are really good and funny. And like, I read them. I read those. Some of y'all are very, 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 very sweet. Yes. And y'all leave like really, 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 really <laughs> good comments or have left comments. I can only speak on the videos that I've been in, but that's all I'm here for is just the videos that I'm, you know, that's, I can only speak on that is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. And the ones that do leave those nice comments about me, thank you for right. giving me a chance. Right. Even though you don't know me either. Because right. in all reality, none of y'all know me. That's what's crazy. And, and I'm trying like, to get to know her. And y'all trying to run away from <laughs> It's just like, I don't. it don't have to be all of that. It don't. It's just, I'm trying to give her, I was simply just trying to give her some content while she was here. That's just it. You said supportive gave me content while I was here. Being right? supportive. And I appreciate it. You're welcome. And she didn't have to. All they could have done was just spend time together. Without the camera. But she's being a supportive friend. And you know what? Yeah. And that's just really it. I just feel like you should, y'all know that saying, don't judge a book by its cover. Like, even with these videos, like, I didn't get on the camera, like, like, acting like this character y'all have invented to be me. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't do that. And I don't know. I just, this is the first video, like, I'm sitting here actually talking. You know what I mean? And this you is know? a real so video. I'm like, if you're going to judge me off anything, judge me off this video right here. If you still don't like me, that, then I'll, I'll be a little more. And let me tell y'all. Let me tell you, after watching this video, yes, I do like her now. Now I got to understand who she is, how she thinks, what she does for herself and others. I think she's a positive person for her. Now, mind you, people had negative opinions about her because of what she presented in those other videos. Can't blame the audience, like I said. But after watching this video, this is videos uncut. It's hard to be fake in almost 30 minutes. Okay, there's no editing involved in this. She's straight up talking throughout the whole video. You can't be fake for that long. Sorry, you can't. There's gonna be some type of slip up. And honestly, she's a good person. She's, she, you could tell, she's a good person. So, okay, now I see that the other videos were all more for entertainment. I get it. That's what you're saying, right, right. <laughs> but I'll be a little more understanding on that. But it's just like, I don't understand, I, I don't know. It, it, ain't for, it ain't for us to understand, it ain't for you to understand or me. It is what it is. I want to say shout out to the people who actually support. I've been saying that. I always say that. Y'all going to get more content from me. Uh, of me. Y'all going to get more music from me. Y'all going to get more of these real life stories and situations from me. Um, and I'm just going to be transparent with y'all and show y'all who I really am. And that's just kind of that on that for me. Mm -hmm. um, like she said though, she leaves in two days. And I am sad. I'm super sad. Because we have... We have, this is the first time like we've been around each other for longer than 24 hours. The first oh, time yeah. she was here, she was here for two days. And she's just been, and then she's in my, at my home. Like, it's just, she's been there every day. You know what I'm saying? So I've been getting to know her. I've been getting to see like what she's really like. And That's what's up. Vice versa. That's and it's up. just been a good experience overall. And I'm sad that she's leaving. I don't have to leave. I don't know. Wait, what? I don't have to leave. I'll stay. Girl, you got things to do. She's she kicking you out. I don't. She's telling you to go. Don't. She's like, I got a life, girl. She's like, I have a life to get back to. You can go home. <laughs> no, we both got shit to do. And we both got business to take care of. And both of us got... Trying to see what we doing. Let's just be honest. <laughs> oh, we my got God. our own business. Like, business, yes. We, we have our own business. business. And it's just like... Right. I'm still going to miss you. I'm gonna miss you too, like for real. No, no lie. Oh. Okay, I wanna show them this. Facts, me too. Okay. How much time left on the camera? Oh, that's the bridge you were talking about, Nick? I just wanna run that's up the up. mass. Fuck trying to make fucking friends. Niggas don't see through my lens. Let me tell you about the shit. Boy, I couldn't even pay my rent. Not on some dumb shit. Really on some bum shit. What you know about check the check? Bill collectors at my neck. Man, it got to the point where I ain't even wanna pay shit. At one point, I had it all. If you can ride, nigga, you can fall. Niggas claiming they your dog. Bitches trying to cut you off. Shit, I lost everything. Thought about blowing my brain. Nigga, literally like bang, bang, bang. I said, fuck it, just thug it out. No lame shit for the clout. Oh, hold on, bro. Let, let me switch it up. When you see that shit, then you better get it. Fuck that hoe if she think you trip. Get back to the bag and start to flip. You a boss out here, nigga, don't forget. Hey, that song. 
That song's good, Nick. Nick has always had that voice where it's different and, and I like it. Um, a couple of her songs are all right, but there's like, there's this one song that I really, really like from her. And this one actually sounds, sounds really fucking good. Hey man, Kentucky, after watching this video, I like you girl, I like you. So it seems like you're about to have a channel of your own from what it sounds like. So once you post that channel, I'm down to subscribe and getting to know you. All right, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.